When we say graphical user interface, GUI, we're talking about these sorts of things here. The fact that there are icons and that when you use a program, for example, you use something like Word, you're able to click on things here to make things happen. I type in a word. If I want to make it bold, I take this action graphically and I do that. I don't have to issue a command to do that. Now we take it for granted that this is the way computers work now. This is a function of the operating system, in this case Windows. In the case of a Macintosh, it would be the Macintosh operating system, Mac OS. But that's not the way computers were originally set to work. I'm going to show you now something that you probably don't want to get into, but I'll get into it just to demonstrate. If I go here and I go for all programs and I go under accessories, and the accessories are part of the older set of programs here, I can get to the command prompt. What you see now is a window that opens up that gives me these words that I can type in. And the number of words that I can use is quite a few different commands, but you have to know the command. So, for example, if I wanted to see every file that was in this folder, I would have to say DIR. And I would see then the names of all the files. In fact, these are all folders in themselves. If I wanted to go to someplace else, for example, if I have a folder out here that is called Documents, I'd have to say CD for Change Directory documents. Whoops, and it can't find that name. Well, why can't it? Well, because it isn't in the right place. It isn't where I said it was by way of the commands that I gave it. So let's do something here. Let's go to pictures. Pictures is within this directory, and this is where I am right now. So I should say cd pictures. Now you can see by this prompt that's where I'm located. Now if I do DIR, I see all these kinds of pictures. This is a very crude way of using a computer. This is called DOS, or the command prompt, Disk Operating System. You don't have to do anything with this, but I just wanted to show you that this is the way that computers were programmed. And the reason that it looks like this is picture back in the old days before cathode ray tubes or screens like you're familiar with using right now existed. This would have been printed on a teletype machine, one of these printing machines with a keyboard, rather slowly. Therefore, the commands were economical in terms of keystrokes. So instead of saying, show me the directory, you would say DIR. And different operating systems would have different words for that. DIR worked with the early version of DOS that preceded Windows. But if you wanted to do the same thing in the Unix operating system, you'd have to say Oh gosh, what would you have to say? I'd have to look it up because I haven't used that system for a while. If you wanted to execute a program here, you would give the program name, and I would have to get in this case to a directory that had an exe file. That is a file that was named with exe on the end that I could execute. But that's as much as I'm going to show you about a command prompt or command line interface. I'm just going to say exit here and get out of that because I'm much more comfortable with looking at things this way, as I'm sure you are,